This is Twit. I am incredibly excited to be here. I Today, believe the I get to millennial very special representation is now on stage. Many years. Yes. Mm. When we set out to build Hollands 2, we wanted to create something that you didn't need to learn how to use. You should just know it. And we call this instinctual Nina interaction. Fried is saying, but Let does it you. fold? <laughs> now, as Alex mentioned, Hollands 2 is very comfortable. It fits just like a hat. And the only thing that's even more I think more that's their tagline. It, it fits just in. like a hat. With Windows Hello mm -hmm. and RS But that would be a big deal, Holland's right? Is actually signing it would be huge. If it's more evenly weighted and it doesn't now, rest so heavily on the bridge of your nose. It looks like that's the case, also right? Recognizes yeah. My hands. And this is the gesture. Look oh, look at that. Fully so here we go. this is something Microsoft did so well in the first in the launch. Around, the Holland's 2 is was demonstrate it so that the audience could see it. Right. And of and course, they're, they're doing this. Not only thing. does the Hollands 2 recognize me and my hands, it also recognizes the world. She just tapped. Welcome to my mixed reality so, home. Looks like that tap gesture is still there. This is the there. place where I have all the apps Too and bad. content that I use every day. <laughs> Let's check some of them out. Well, that. it's like clicking a mouse, <laughs> I guess. I've seen I mean, many people put on Hollands the first time. And the first thing people do when they put on the device is they reach out their hands and try and touch the holograms. Oh, interesting. That's and now, good, isn't it? you can. Yep. Look at the way that the holograms are spawning to my hand, almost inviting me to touch it. So it gives you the shape fact, of the object you're looking at. And resize it. it. Does. Or I can rotate it. In a way that's better than guessing that's right. where it ends. We it totally still, is. It's hard to do that. Holograms. Yeah, you're still looking yep. through a slot, but this you, is an at least you get a sense spatial. of where that thing is. Let me just put it right there. Yep. And look I've what else she's doing. She's using her eyes to like pick out objects. That's different too, the eye tracking part. Interesting. Before. Before, it, it would just be like you're looking at a big scene, but now she's looking at a specific thing and then it's lighting up. Wow. All right, now let's switch gears and talk about a different kind of application. And she's, I've got a by the way, over there, very but it's kind of far away and I don't really want to walk over there. So let me just call it over with my voice. Follow me. Oh, wow. This is a browser oh, that's running Microsoft Teams, which is a tool that we use back home to collaborate. Let me see what the team's been working on. Okay. Do you think this looks like this. they've got a surprise for me the in the previous version? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me but on the other hand, I think they're here. trying to pitch this as something you just leave on all day. And then launch it. Yeah, that would be a lot. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually first followed was a developer in. kit. Is this going to be an end be really useful user when you product? Have things like emails or it's going to be for businesses while you're doing your work. A purchasable really by developers and business customers, like for for their first line workers. Right. And then we'll get back to it later. So you'll start seeing people Welcome wearing these in some the environments. Mm -hmm. We spent years exploring and refining interactions for HoloLens 2. And the playground is just a tiny sampling of the many prototypes that we built, tested, and learned from. Our approach was basically to try out as many things as we could and look for the things that stood out. So for example, here I've got three sliders. Each of them is controlling this wind farm So inevitably, they're going to be compared each in a different to way, magically, using a different interaction technique. magically pass focus more One on the consumer experience. One of the things we tried is this touch slider here. So here I can just stick my finger and in the slider and have it go to the technology does not seem as advanced as this. There. Look at that. With her finger, she's moving the slider. It felt okay. We also tried this push slider. So this guy can kind of nudge from side to side, kind of like an abacus, which was interesting. These are, I presume, now, rejected the interaction UIs. that really took home the cake, though, was this pinch slider. The way that works is you just pinch it and move it wherever you want. Wow. And it's what pretty we found responsive. Was people really like that tactile mm -hmm. sensation of their fingers touching as they grab and then released. And across the board, for all interactions, the audio and visual feedback as you grab, move, and then release were all really critical for making this experience no haptic feel connected. Feedback, but the audio oh, might be the This is just so job. satisfying. I can't wait for you all to try this out. <laughs> All right. She's really enjoying it. Now let's move on to a different kind of control. Buttons. How do you press buttons on HoloLens 2? Well, you just reach out and press them. I like the sound. Now, one interesting thing yeah. that we found about buttons was that the size of the buttons actually impacted the way that people interacted with them. So, for example, for the smaller one, most people would use one or maybe two fingers. But for the larger one, pretty much everyone used their entire hand. And this is kind of interesting when you think about it because these objects don't really weigh anything. They're just digital things. But despite that, people would treat them like enthusiasm. real things. She's, she Almost really, everyone has she's good. really cares a lot about I just this. Love the way these she likes it. Yep. Yeah. When I press them. It's great. Good presenter. Yes. All right. How about something that uses all 10 fingers? Well, to test that out, we built a piano. So here I can just play a <laughs> chord. Or I can play the keys one at a time. 
the difficult thing with this is that your finger is going through space. It isn't actually touching anything. Right. <laughs> That's right. why that pinch so thing that works, because at least your team had for me. Your oh, fingers right. are to touching your other words. finger. Uh, show that's right. surprise. Ooh, look at that hummingbird over there. It's gorgeous. I wonder if it will it fly Tinker to my Bell. hand. <laughs> yeah. It is Tinkerbell. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is a little lag. I just love the moves. way that it's following my hand around. I've got to tell the team, they did a great job. And in fact, I don't even need to use my hands to do this, because I can use my eyes and my voice. That's right. HoloLens 2 has eye tracking. So I can just look Yay. over this browser here and look at the bottom of the screen to scroll it. Wow. And then send my That's message. Good. How hard will that Start be to vacation. get used to? That'll be easier than how it is now. Okay. <laughs> Which is with what, face scrolling with your hand, your finger? Yeah. You're like moving your whole head usually. Oh. And this is just, you look at something and you pick it up. So right. this is what we mean by instinctual interaction. By combining our hands, this our is eyes, all new, and our voice. You know, Greenfield research. Nobody knows how to do this. There's, you're I want reinventing to thank the team back and and across the world for all of their incredible work to making this dream a reality. And I'm sure that I speak on behalf of all of us when I Peter say Bright says that the full finger tracking will make a huge difference. The lack of direct yourself. manipulation in the first gen really can't felt wait really, really strange. It was too. terrible. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Julia, that was incredible.